Hello and welcome to Emergent Soul Conversations, the podcast promoting self-love and awareness with the hopes of developing sisterhood and community. We will be discussing concepts that pull on the hearts of today's woman. I'm your host, Karen Elaine, and I will share my life experiences along with inviting others to sit down with me who inspire me and also have a willingness to share their soul's journey. This podcast will give us meaningful and intimate conversations that'll help us create a life by design and not default. If this is your first time listening in, I thank you. Now on till today's episode. So what's the secret about loving yourself? I'm sure you're familiar with self-help books and talk show hosts that tell you to to love yourself, but have you wondered why or even how to go about it? Now listen, your relationship with yourself is the most important connection that you're going to have in life, but it's easy to forget about it as well as how to nurture it. Self-love and compassion are the two most important things And they're just too important to neglect because they shape your experiences and relationships with others. It's so important to protect your health and well-being by making positive changes in the way you think and treat yourself. Listen, I don't share these things with you because they're easy. I share these things because they're essential. And changing the way you think about yourself is critical. Listen. I know I'm hard on myself sometimes, and possibly you're hard on yourself. You're busy, you have external obligations, and you rarely consider yourself or your personal things as priorities. Looking inward is going to help you value yourself so much more. Here are some strategies that are going to help you think about yourself as well as how you regard yourself to make loving yourself a little bit more easier. Accept yourself. Know that you are worthy of love and respect just the way you are. There's nothing that you need to change yourself that someone has to tell you to unless you're making that change for yourself. Embrace yourself with all your strengths and all your weaknesses and acknowledge I am. Accept yourself as you are. Clarify your purpose. Invent your own definition of success. Don't allow someone else's perception and opinion to become your own. Ask yourself, what is a meaningful life and what it means to you? And it's okay if you change your answer from time to time. Because it's your purpose, your life, and no one can tell you or identify or develop that for you. Here's a good one. Talk yourself up. How do you speak to yourself? Listen, your inner child is listening. You need to choose words that are encouraging and uplifting. Use your internal dialogue to build your confidence and manage your emotions. Talk yourself up. It's not what or the words that other people say to you that makes the most impact, but it's the words that you say to yourself. You need to offer forgiveness. Let go of the past so that you can move on. Take any decision that you regret and turn it into an opportunity to learn. You need to make amends wherever possible and resolve to handling things more constructively in the future. Forgiving yourself is not about forgetting, but it's about reframing your thoughts that are going to allow you to move forward versus backwards. You need to avoid comparison. Listen. Facebook didn't invent social comparisons, but social media has increased the potential for envy and increased inferiority complexes. 
Try competing with your last performance instead of living up to someone else's standards. You'll accomplish more if you dare to be yourself. Think positive. Looking on the bright side of things and being able to laugh at yourself makes you even more lovable. It helps you to manage stress and deal with difficult circumstances. Listen, if you can change the way that you treat yourself, you're going to change the way that you think about yourself. Ask yourself, do your actions match your beliefs? You might say that you love yourself, but are your actions sending a different message? It's time to be kinder and treat yourself more gently. Practice self-care, develop habits that are gonna keep your mind and body fit and strong. Try going to bed a little bit earlier and exercising every day. Eat a balanced diet and manage your weight so that you can feel healthy and have positive thoughts about yourself. Pick your friends wisely. You need to surround yourself with family and friends who are going to encourage and support you. Cultivate close relationships with others who share your goals, who are going to engage in deep conversations where you can share your feelings and receive validation. Again, surround yourself with people who are going to help build you up versus tearing you down. Pursue your passions. You need to identify activities that are going to bring you joy and fulfillment. Block out just a small time for yourself every day doing something that you love, whether it's a task that's related to job or something that you're going to do for pleasure. Set goals. Set goals for yourself. Give yourself something to strive for. When you're working towards realistic and challenging goals, it's going to help build your confidence and add to your achievements. And here's the most important one. You need to maintain healthy boundaries. Know your limits so that you can define what behavior you consider to be acceptable. This may include physical boundaries, such as needing your own space, as well as psychological boundaries to know that you're entitled to your own feelings and your opinions. Never allow someone to tell you that you're not allowed to feel or think a certain way. Be your own advocate. Once you understand your own needs, it's gonna be simpler to communicate to someone else. Listen, this is all about practice and putting things into action. You're gonna go and grow to be more skillful the more you practice these things. Loving yourself can help you to bring more happiness, overcome more difficult challenges, and build healthier and happier relationships with others. Make it a habit to treat yourself with kindness, respect, and self-love. Because what happens to you does not define who you are, my Emergent Soul. Thank you for listening to this episode of Emergent Soul Conversations. Join me next time to gain more insights on how to live a life by design and not default. If this was your first time tuning into the show, please make sure and hit the subscribe button below and follow me on Instagram at Emergent Soul. Remember, what happens to you does not define you, your emergent soul.